Okay, so let's start into paper two then. This is the Leaving Cert High Level Maths paper two for 2022, question one. Uh, the table below gives some details on the number of different types of student in a university. There are 22,714 students in the university in total. That's down here. And fill in the missing values to complete the table above. Okay, so this is fairly straightforward, I think. We have a total here, we have a total here. So all I've got to do is subtract this one from this one to give us this one here. We can subtract this from this one to give us this one here. Subtract this from this one to give us this one here. And that's it really. Uh, it's just a lot of calculator work. So um, I'm just going to write in the answer. So here we've got 7,007. Here we've got 5,654. And here, 14,138. So again, as I say, it's just subtractions or additions. If you want to add these two, you'll get this one. You can check as well, you know, add these two, it should give you this one. Add these two, it should give you this one. Add these two, it should give you this one here. Okay, so one student is picked at random from the students in the university. Let O be the event that the student is 24 years or older. U is the event that the student is an undergraduate. Are O and U independent? Justify your answers. Your answer. Let's have a look at that. So the first thing we need is the probability. Remember, for independence, to prove independence, you need the probability of O multiplied by the probability of U is equal to the probability of O intersection U. So you've got to find the probability of O first. So the probability of O is... O is the event that a student is 24 years or older. 24 years or older. Well, 24 years or older is this column here. And we have 8,576 there. So it's going to be 8,576 divided by the total number, which is 22,714. We've got to multiply that by the probability of U, the event that a student is an undergraduate. Well, undergraduates are here, so that's 15,707. So we've got to multiply that by 15,707 divided by the total number, which is 22,714. On the right-hand side, then, we've got to do O intersection U. So the probability of being uh, over 24 and an undergraduate. The probability of being all over 24 and being an undergraduate, that's 2922. 2922. So on the right hand side here we've got uh, 2922 divided by 22714. So we've got to see are these equal, are these equal or not? Okay, so let's do that. So again, after, at this stage again it's just uh, calculator work. When you multiply these two on the left hand side you'll get 0. 26109032162 and so on. This one here, this one here on the right hand side will give us 0. 0. 0.1286431276 and so on. So they are not equal, okay? So in other words, therefore O and U are not independent as the probability of O times the probability of U is not equal to the probability of O intersection U. Just put a line down here just to separate those. Okay, so that's it really for quest part two. Let's have a look at part B then. Three people are picked at random from the class. Find the probability that all three were born on the same day of the week. Assume that the probability of being born on each day is the same. Okay, so this is, I've seen this question before, uh, or similar type question, it's in one of the books. So let's have a look. The probability, we want to find the probability uh, that, find the probability that all three were born on the same day of the week. 
that's going to be equal to now the first person is going to be born on one of the days of the week so he has a choice or she has a choice of 7 out of 7 now the second person then has to be born on the same day as the first person so that person only has a choice of one day out of seven the third person the same thing they have to be born on the same day as these two people here so they only have a choice of one out of seven so if you do that you get it reduces down to one out of 49 and you do that and that's it I think that's all we had to do assume that the probability were born the same find the probability that all three were born on the same day of the week and that's it okay so let's have a look at part C there are B boys and G girls in a class so we have boys and we have girls there are B boys and G girls so this is the, the number here uh, three-fifths of the students in the class are girls so we have three-fifths of these over here are girls okay four boys and four girls join the class okay so now we've got boys and we have girls and the boys are going to be B plus 4 now and the girls are going to be G plus 4 one student is picked at random from the whole class the probability that this student is a girl is now 4 7 so now we've got 4 7 over here find the value of B and the value of G okay so look we've got two unknowns here so this is probably going to turn into well it will turn into kind of simultaneous equations type question so let's have a look. How did we work out this three fifths? Well, the three fifths is worked out by the, the, taking the number of girls and dividing it by the total number of students. So it's the number of girls divided by boy B plus G. Uh, same over here. The four sevenths is the proportion of girls in the class. So the proportion of girls in the class is just going to be G plus 4 divided by B plus 4 plus G plus 4. This is one equation, this is the second equation. So all we've got to do is simplify these down and then do our normal simultaneous equations type uh, procedure. So let's do that. First one here, uh, let's see, we have a fraction equal to a fraction, same over here, we have a fraction equal to a fraction, so what we normally do is cross multiply. So over here we get 3b plus 3g is equal to 5g. Let's just simplify that. That'll give me 3b minus 2g is equal to 0. And this is equation number 1 simplified. Over here then, let's see, we have 7g uh, plus 4 sevens, 28 is equal to 4b plus 4g plus, I'm going to add these two, 4 and 4 is 8, and 4 8 is 32. Uh, let's see, we'll bring the 7g over here. I might just put the b first because we've got the b first here. So let's see, I'm going to bring over the b, 4b, so it's going to be minus 4b. Now I have a 7g minus 4g, so that's going to be plus 3g. And then I'll leave the numbers on this side, so it's going to be 28 uh, and 32, so that's going to be 4. 32 minus 28 is 4. This is equation number 2. Okay, let's just put these two together then. So what I'm going to do, actually, first is just have a look at them. I'm going to maybe cancel the G's here. You can do the b's either, but let's do the g's. So I'm going to multiply this equation by 3 and this equation by 2. So I'm going to take equation 1, I'm going to multiply it by 3, I'm going to take equation 2, and I'm going to multiply it by 2. Okay, so the first one by 3, so that'll give me, uh, let's see, 3, 3 is 9, b minus 2, 3, 6, g is equal to 0. And over here, multiply by 2, so I've got minus 8b. 2 3's plus 6g is equal to 2 4's 8. Let's just put these two together then and add them. Now we've got b here, which is handy. This is going to be 0, and I've got 8 here. So b is just equal to 8. Perfect. So let me just take equation 1. 3b minus 2g is equal to 0. This is equation number 1. I'm going to just stick in that 8 there. So we've got 3 times 8 minus 2g is equal to 0. 
That'll give me 3 8 24 minus 2g is equal to 0. That'll give me, bring the 24 over, you get uh, minus 24 divided by 2, you get 12. So I have my two values here, b is 8 and g is 12, and I think that's all we have to do, b and g. Okay, we can check those if you want. Again, you don't have to do this. If you have time in the exam, you can do it. Uh, remember they said that three-fifths three -fifths of the first group, the first class, were girls, so three-fifths of 20. That'll give me 5 and 20 is 4, 3, 4 is 12, so that's correct. We did get 12 here. Perfect. The second one then, let's see, uh, well if there were 12, uh, if there were 12 girls, there are going to be 8 boys in total, yeah. So 20. Because remember there are going to be 20 students in total, 12 plus 8, so that's where this 20 came from. Uh, the other one then we had four sevenths, four sevenths of, well remember we added four and four, so we added eight to the total number, so it's four sevenths of 28, and that will give you 16, so that's correct as well. Uh, 12 plus four will give me 16. We had 12 girls originally, we added four, so that'll give me 16 girls. Okay, so that, that works. Okay, so that's really it for question number one.